Kanchi Srivastava from Gizbot.com and today I have got a very special conversation for you. Yes, recently during the Meanful launch in the Bangalore event, uh, Xiaomi's VP head Mr. Hugo Barra came in and he has given an exclusive interview just on Gizbot.com. There he's going to talk about me for of course and me note which is soon to be coming up in India, the Redmi 2S and also the Me TV. And how can you forget about the Me E store which is set to be coming to India very soon. So let's head on and check it out. Hi Hugo, welcome to Gizbot.com again. Xiaomi Mi 4 has been launched in India. A lot of uh, customers out there, I came to know you got some big registration numbers, but at the same time, lots of customers out there are disappointed because they're not getting a 64 GB version. What do you have to say for that? Is it coming soon? So, I have heard the same, and I assure you that, uh, I'll look at the camera, I'll show you that we have a 64 gig version coming. Uh, it's going to take a few weeks uh, for it to get here. Um, but we're very focused, so we wanted to do this with the first model, and then we're going to introduce a special nation model for these 64 gigs. Uh, so just give us a few weeks, uh, and then we'll be there. Uh, for, uh, so when you say few weeks, is it going to be in the next month? Uh, it will be within Q1 for sure. Uh, it will probably at some point in March, is, is my current estimate. Um, but uh, you know, we don't know exactly yet. We operate with no margin for error, right? So as soon as it's ready, we bring it and get it for sale. Okay, uh, in 2015, I, are you going to follow the sales, sale, uh, same sales model strategy which you have been following, the same flash uh, sale stuff which, ha which happened last year? So flash sale will continue to be our primary selling model because that's the model that we, we use or kind of have to use when the amount of products available to sell is significantly lower than the demand. Right? So uh, unless... Uh, we have a lot more product to sell. Even if we didn't do an announced flash sale, we would still sell out very quickly. So it would be essentially like a flash sale, even if we didn't call it a flash sale. But what we will do this year as we ramp up volumes is uh, as soon as we get to the point where we feel that we've got enough to serve demand, let's say for a whole week, we will open sale. And we've tried it with that model uh, in the past, uh, even over the last uh, few months, whenever we had a larger you know, shipment, and then we would just open up sale. Okay, there are a lot of disappointed users and buyers sitting over there at that end when the sale goes out in like 3 seconds, 5 seconds, 0.5 seconds. So, uh, are you planning to come up with some solution for them? So we, we do have a rv.com uh, uh, website plan, uh, planned uh, for some time this year. Uh, it's going to be you know, a much more focused store, of course. It's, like a, a website in the markets where we all sell our products, uh, we get our accessories as well, and so on. Um, so that's the idea. Uh, I think with, once we've launched our own website, we will be able to bring few more types of products, particularly some of the uh, accessories that perhaps are less uh, demand in large volumes, but which people still really, really want. Uh, you know, different kinds of power banks, different kinds of phone covers, and you know, meat bunnies, and things like that. So how are you going to plan the logistics for the same? Um, so we're working on that right now, which is why it takes some time. But there's a few partners uh, that we will be working with. You know, these are companies that are specialized in warehousing, that are specialized in last mile logistics, fulfillment, and so on and so forth. So we're kind of sending a nice crew uh, to uh, help us with this. So how many headcounts are you planning for the logistics? Right. Some numbers I would like to have. Yeah, so you're right, the foot cards bar is set extremely And I think when it comes to sending an e-commerce operation, We'll of course have to hold ourselves against that bar. You know, we are an e-commerce company. Uh, we've been building e-commerce operations uh, for a long time. We're the third largest e-commerce company in China and the first larger, largest pure player in e-commerce companies. So we've got a lot of know-how. Of course, uh, all of that is new to us. India is new to us, I should say. Uh, and some of it translates, some of it doesn't translate. Um, so what we'll do is we're going to start small and we're going to wrap up slowly. We're going to continue to work with the cards for years to come. I should say they're an amazing partner. Uh, it's just a different uh, uh, channel, a well, different set of options for, for uh, our events here in India. Okay. Also, I would like to understand, mobiles are fine, but uh, there is a point when the saturation will come in the smartphone segment. 
so i would like to know your opinion on the internet of things which is like highly which was one of the biggest term in the cs recently right. exactly. and uh, shami also talked about that over there yeah. and uh, you have been experimenting with a lot of products and devices which are or maybe become a part of them so uh and yeah, so and the plan uh, i you have any plans to bring this concept to india soon we do and we're just starting to work on this one company this one company strategy our dream is that you can access pretty much any of the devices and appliances in your home from your phone even when you're home but also when you're not at home so you can remotely monitor them you can turn them on and off you can program them and, and so on um and we're starting to work on bringing that dream to life by making some of these devices ourselves you know we have a router of course we have our tv products which is mostly an air purifier uh, but also by making a chip that we can sell at cost to all other devices manufacturers and appliance manufacturers they will embed this chip into their devices into their appliances and then those devices will become cloud connected and we do it with an open standard right so that it's not like we would only be the ones we would only be the ones taking the benefit of it to know these centers and others who can benefit. Uh, and we're working very closely with some of these big appliance manufacturers to bring that vision to life. This year. How, what kind of sales will they uh, give them? What do you think? A water purifier or air purifier? Or so I think uh, products like the air purifier do extremely well because I mean, it's about health. Right? It's about your life and uh, having a good life, a comfortable life, and a long life. Uh, they're very affordable products. So, We just started selling it, so it's too early to tell. But I think we'll sell it very, very well, just like smartphones. Yeah. I would repeat my question over here again. I heard you talking about uh, more than smartphones in terms of screens in a Forbes interview. Okay, so I would like to know when is that plan going to be a real one as far as the Indian market is concerned, and do you think India has that space? for a mobile turn into a <laughs> television manufacturer yeah. entrant where already big players are already like in penetrated over here yeah so we have started our new tv project for india already it's going to take us quite a few months to get there uh, but we we actually really do think that there's a huge market opportunity here in india for building tvs and delivering the value in the same way that we've done with smart really really high quality high spec products fast processor great for gaming, great for movies, 4K resolution, you know, really top end specs and sell them again via e-commerce, sell them close to cost uh, and really offer something that people just want out available to them at those price points. So I think it could be very disruptive to that price. Okay. Uh at the same time I would like to add on the tablet segments as well. Micromax, Samsung, Apple all are on the cutting edge competition. Me devices are already giving them such a cutthroat competition in the smartphone segment. Where is Xiaomi when it comes to tablet? I mean Mi Pad, <laughs> when is it coming? Where is Mi Pad? <laughs> so Mi Pad uh, is a product that we still plan to bring to India. Um and we we don't know exactly when we're going to be able to launch yet, but it's definitely in our plan. So just be Look at patient with us. Uh, two more months and we hope we will have it. Me four, India launch. 4G LTE not there. Uh, Me four, we made a decision to only launch the 3G model here in India, uh, and that has to do with uh, antenna engineering. Uh, this is the device that was originally designed 18 months ago when we started the design process. I wasn't even part of the company yet. We had no plan at the time to enter the market in India. Um, so we didn't take account into account uh, all of the uh, requirements uh, for 4G media. Also, because at the time 4G media was still out, right? So, uh, so that's why uh, we didn't design uh, a 4G bands or media into the uh, We could do it. It would take significant, significantly longer period of time. Uh, so between launching right away in India and waiting to launch in 4G, we all decided to launch right away. So. So the 3G models here. We're going to listen to the market. Uh, we currently we do not have a plan to launch a 4G version, uh, but if the need really arises, uh, then we'll release it. Okay. What about the Android Lollipop uh, updates, uh, which are coming to the Mi or the Redmi? How are you planning in India? So the Android 5.0 Lollipop updates are planned for early part of the future. We're going to start with our Mi flagship devices, so Mi 3, Mi 4, and then we're going to bring Mi devices shortly. So that will be a time frame you could. Uh, Q2, I think.
and uh, me knows when is it planning to come to India. I think it shouldn't be delayed a lot. <laughs> me knows is a beautiful device. Uh, we hope to bring it in the next few months. Uh, we're just starting to ramp up production in China as well, uh, so that's going to take a little bit of time. Um, you know, but we, generally speaking, we like to bring the device uh, here within as short a period as possible. So we're working to shorten that gap. Uh, I don't have a date for me yet. It should be next week. Okay, so the Mi Note is going to come first or the 2S? Redmi 2S? Uh, we're probably going to launch Redmi 2 first and then the Note after, which was the same order uh, in which we launched the Note. And that should be uh, in the second quarter because the delay till that would be. I don't know, uh, I don't, again, I don't have specific dates that we're working on it, um, but I expect Redmi, no, Redmi 2 to come and then the Note to come second. Why do you think a consumer should go for a Mi 4 and not for the other entrants in the market? So, it's a very good question. Uh, Mi 4 is the most beautiful design 5 inch device that you find, the high performance 5 inch device that you find. Uh, it's got no doubt uh, the, the best components, starting from a really high quality FPS display that's NTSC 95%, uh, 1000 to 1 and not transformation. Uh, quality that you won't find easily. In anything in this market. The camera on E4 is what I was particularly draw your attention to. It's a 30 megapixel camera with an F1.8 aperture, the best in its segment by far. The front camera uh, is an 8 megapixel camera, which is a very high resolution for a, for a selfie camera. Also, F1.8 aperture in an 80 degree wide angle. This will give you the widest selfies of any camera that you see out there. Uh, and everything else about this device is fantastic. Uh, quick charge 2.0, so you have a full charge in three and a half hours, 60% charge in about one hour. Uh, and, and I know Rebel features really, really fast RAM, three gigs, not two gigs, so three gigs of RAM, uh, really fast RAM, and so on. So it's a very premium device, and the, the design of it is probably my favorite part uh, because of how beautifully sculpted this uh, stainless steel metal frame. It's something that you have to look at closely and see if you're honest. Uh, but it's a level of detail, polish, and finish that you just haven't seen in the device So it's almost hard to compare it to anything else in the kit. And it's kind of like, because it's such a great design. Uh, V4 is a Snapdragon 801 uh, chipset from Qualcomm and Adreno 330 GPU. Uh, so it's one of the fastest uh, chipsets out there. Stay tuned to Gizbot if you like this video and also hit the like button below and uh, other gadget reviews are concerned just subscribe our YouTube channel. So stay cool and take care.